Okay, I'm going to attempt to do an impromptu of what's in my bag. <clears throat> this is only going to deal with the stuff that I use with my surf rods. And this one here is a pin battle 2 on a 10 foot Daiwa MCAS surf rod. It's a medium heavy action, a three to six ounce lower weight. Um, and so the stuff that I'm talking about is what I usually use when I'm fishing out from the elbow down there, or when I'm down there like those guys are right now, casting out past the wall for hybrids. Now let me start off by saying some of the these lures that you're gonna see, the ideas, they came from people that have been fishing here for years and admittedly most of the ideas that I have are from people that have fished here for years. Some lures are modified to adapt to the conditions of what you have here. You have fast currents, the water is moving all the time unless the turbines go down. So you can't just grab any lure off of the shelf and use it in most cases um, so with that being said I want to start off with this one right here this is my top water one of my top water trays and what they do is they take like this cotton cordell pencil popper and it's a five inch one, it's less than an ounce. And what they do is they drill a hole and add buckshot and get it anywhere from one and a half, one three quarter to two and a half ounces. And that enables us to cast it out into the current way out there where the fish are busting on the brakes and on the seam. So I utilize these. Same thing with the um, Saris books. This one here has been drilled right here. Added buckshot, gets you out there. And the only thing is once it hits the water, you need to immediately start your retrieve. Different speeds, as long as you keep it on the top and uh, creating some type of wake, it usually works. Now, what we found, and uh, I'm gonna give the credit to Sluggo Jim because he's the first one I saw using these, the Tsunami talking pencil poppers, they're pre-weighted and they float. Uh, the only issue is they will not cast as far as these modified ones that the locals here have created. Um, but if you don't need to get way out there and you want to have a slower popping, you know, a, a more, lot more turbulent, um, turbulence created when you bring your lure back in, these work great. This is the six inch right here and we also use the five inch. And the five inch is like one and three eighth ounces and the six inch is two ounces and they also have a seven inch which is I don't know if it's two and three eighths or if it's actually three ounces or not but they work quite well when you need when you don't need to get very far out there they, they, they get a, they get a good distance but they don't get nearly as far as I said the the ones that are weighted by the locals here Okay, and that's this tray here. And then, there's other lures that are done the same way. As you can see, there's a lot of cotton cordell pencil poppers. They just do the job. And another lure that's really, really good here, excuse me one second while I untangle this. Okay. Is a red fin. And what you simply do is, you take the hooks off of the back 
you drill a hole up towards the front and you add your weight up here and you reverse it and I'm gonna tell you guys what you'd be surprised how good this thing right here is um, it's as good if not better than the uh, pencil popper itself is and as you can see I have plenty of the cotton cordell pencil poppers but these red fins modified like this they are really really good also and we use the five inch ones all the way up to the seven inch ones and they just work that's, that's all I can tell you these things are, are golden and we not only those lures but just anything that fits the profile of a, of a bait fish drill a little hole add a little buckshot get a little weight added to it and you can get it out there and it works and one other thing that <clears throat> I got to give Jim Sluggo credit for <clears throat> excuse me saltwater lures work great here and he has introduced us to the tsunami brand of the swim bait now this here is the regular holograph one I think it's a five inch maybe six inch one but they also have a deep dive version which hopefully I can show you here in a minute or two but to end with the topwater baits we don't I don't add weight to all of them sometimes you don't need to get way out there and we do utilize all the way up to the uh, I think this is a seven inch one on that one on we, we utilize all the way up to seven inch on those also and I hope this is coming through good on this camera and then my last tray of them is like a mixed variety of them and I have different shapes and stuff this one here is the Adam striper swiper okay two ounce okay this here is a red uh, that's not a red fin that's not it at all another thing that is utilized is the launcher um, and like I said they come in different sizes I believe this one here is like the two ounce, maybe two and one third, two and one quarter ounce weight, aerodynamic. So as the weight pierces through the air and then you use this, it comes back this way and it creates turbulence. And you have a, you know, two to five foot leader and you have some type of swim bait on the other end. And uh, this works real well. And besides the uh, soft plastics, um, a, grid, a real good one, again, is the uh, red fin. These things have so much action in the water that they are just phenomenal. And uh, sometimes just hooking them to uh, just straight to your line, smaller rigs and stuff, and when the fish are in closer, the red fin is a deadly uh, is a deadly deadly lure for hybrids, man. It real they really are. Um, so if you can get your hands on some of these, it, you won't be wasting any money. I guarantee. If the fish are there, of course. But uh, the Adam getting back to the Adam Striper Swiper. Uh, this is one that I took a chance on. Um, saltwater lure it is, but uh, it's top water two ounces and uh, so I got I went ahead and picked up a few uh, different colors and stuff to to try I haven't really utilized them much yet but hopefully uh, I can uh, give a good review on these in the future um, when I get a chance to start using them uh, they're good good size good shape good fish profile so hopefully I can get them to work for me um, besides the soft plastics, um, like I said, we use swim baits, 
tsunamis, uh, Berkeley power baits. Uh, they all work really, really well. Storm, all of those brands work, work really, really well behind a launcher. Or with the um, Carolina rig. And uh, all we do with the Carolina rig is we take and we hook a two to three ounce sinker, slip sinker, to our main line. And then a, you know, two to three, four foot leader. And most cases we're using a jig with a soft plastic. Uh, the jigs can be, you know, quarter ounce, eighth ounce, whatever, but we just want them to have strong enough hook to bring the fish in. And uh, also, the same thing with the swim baits. Those work real well, Carolina rigged. And uh, like I said, I use, I use Tsunami, I use Berkeley Power, I use Storm. Um, I use all of them, they all work. And uh, I never can forget my uh, Sluggos. They work excellent. And then, can't forget about the stick baits. Um, small or large size stick baits, they work really well also. And as far as, as far as my main bag, that's where I keep all of my, keep all of my uh, soft plastics and my jig heads and I just try to keep them separated uh, bagged in little just little sandwich bags here whatever hefty bags whatever but here are my Lunker Cities which are my Sluggo brands which have the nice slender uh, minnow river shiner profile uh, shad skipjack profiles um, they really are good and it's hard to beat a Sluggo. It really is hard to beat a Sluggo, but I love the Sluggo brand. And my friend Jim Sluggo has also got us hooked on the DOA brand. These little three inch swim baits, they are deadly and they are tough. And you can catch a lot of fish before having to replace each individual swim bait. And then besides the Sluggo, I am a big fan of the Zoom, the Zoom brand. I, 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 I love the Zoom brand. It, it, it's, it's just killer. Um, various colors, various shapes and lengths, uh, all the way down to the tiny, tiny junior fluke. And uh, this is really killer. And then as, as far as my jigs themselves, just a variety of jigs that I have confidence in. The DOA, as you can see, they're small. This is like the one eighth ounce, but that hook, that's a nice strong hook. And when you're dealing with hybrids, that's very important because if you have, like for instance, the hooks that I use for sauger and walleye, those tend to straighten out and we lose fish. So we have to adapt and uh, hooks this brand and this size they do really really well and also I'm a big fan of the Strike King I'm a big fan of the Strike King um, there's one of my walleye hooks in there but uh, the Strike King is a good strong hook and uh, that'll bring a fish in from way out there and if you end up getting snagged, they're, I guess, soft enough to where sometimes you can actually straighten them out to get your lure back. But when you bend them back into the shape, they retain their strength so that you're able to continue to bring fish in from way out there. So these are really, really good when it comes to that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys are the big swim baits that we use. Um,
storm and tsunami five and six inch swim baits when the fish are keying in on these size baits these are deadly now these here this here is a storm you actually need to add some weight to it to get it down uh, we usually have to use it Carolina style or if you use it on its own it's mostly done on the upper deck where we don't want to you know we don't need it to sink very far and then the last one is the tsunami deep dive this is a five inch three ounce swim bait and we just hook it to the line itself and nothing else is needed and this is the bunker color but the pearl the pearl and the white in this are killer okay the pearl and the white in this are killer so that's just a quick overview of some of the stuff that you'll see me drag up and down the hill as I go fishing down here at the Green of Dam. And uh, there are other things that I utilize, but these are the main ones that I use most of the time when I'm fishing. Um, so uh, I hope you find this interesting. Um, this is my first time doing one of these segments. Um, I may have to do it again if this doesn't turn out very good. I hope that somebody gets something out of it um, and, it, you know, that it comes off okay. So that's it for now, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload a fishing video here soon. It's been tough lately, but uh, we're trying, and hopefully I'll be able to upload a fishing video here soon. And thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.